Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Yes, Queen Elizabeth got buried today and i'm sure her family are still mourning but it's just like the end of something and a begin and a new beginning with the next day so we know we had uh well a uh, uh, queen queen elizabeth ii yes she died on the 8th of september now it took 11 days from the 8th if you count the 9th through the 19th what do y'all come up with? I just want to know for my cons conspiracy theory people. What do you come up with? If you count it the way I count it. Don't you know September the 11th? It was 11 days. Okay. September the 11th. What happened on September the 11th? I want to say back in 2003. I might be wrong with that. But that's where I'm going with it. Or 2013. It's one of them. Y'all catch me up on that one. Y'all good about that. But yes, our president of the United States, Joe, the one that fell off his bicycle, even though it was stationary, it was just sitting, you know, he was just sitting on there, just sitting down, put his head, had his feet on the ground, and he fell. Yes, our president that sat there and go to sleep during cabinet meetings. Mm-hmm. And he had only had one thing to do today, or was it yesterday? Only one thing to do was to make the queen's funeral on time. That's all he had to do. That's all he had to do. But you know what? Joe arrived on CPT time. Anybody know what CPT time? That means color people time. Joe, we needed you to show up and show out. We needed you to be on white people's time. Okay? That means if the funeral started at 12, you should have been there at 1059. You see where I'm going with this joke? So you got a, so you could have a proper seat and all that good stuff. But you know where they put our president, y'all? They put his behind in the fourteenth row, okay? Cause he he had, he was late. He was running a little late. Like Joe, how can you run? Joe gonna be he gonna be late for his own funeral. Ah, <sighs> Joe, Joe, Joe. Now if you think about it, he's in the fourteenth row. One plus four is five, right? Mm hmm. Yep. I tell you. And you know they didn't they didn't stop nothing. They kept rolling. They were like, okay, the president ain't here of the United States. Okay, fine. That's okay. We're gonna keep this show running. We we're gonna schedule you. And then Joe gonna try to show up. Ooh, I don't know how that picture got in on y'all. <laughs> Woo! Sometimes my little pictures are too <coughs> little and I can't really see them on the computer, okay? So forgive me for that insert. But uh yeah, some very, very uh much so sad sad occasion when somebody's been with you for you feel like an eternity and then they check out yep that's all our fate all our, all everybody we know on this earth is going to have that similar fate where the light is going to be turned off and you're just going to be remembered by your loved ones you're going to be remembered by your enemies and it just is what it is. We come in the world not knowing nobody. We go out the world not knowing nobody. Or where they at. You know what I'm trying to say. But we getting back on Joe. President Biden is what we call him. But when he cut up, like falling off his bicycle, sleeping in cabinet meetings, being late to the Queen's funeral procession, he going to be old Joe. Grandpa Joe. Okay. But we pray to our line. It's where we get our commentary from. And they got it in big bold letters. Okay, big bold letters. Embarrassing. Yep. President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden placed in the 14th row back during Queen Elizabeth's funeral. 
couldn't put him up there in front, you know. He couldn't sit there with Charles and Camille. He couldn't sit up there nowhere because he's president of the United States. Show some respect, okay? But I guess they said, uh-uh, uh-uh. You were late for one thing. Then you're going to come in here with all your entourage disturbing everything. Then, you know, we can go on and on and on, but, you know, it was piss poor. That was piss poor, Joe. Granddaddy Joe, you can't show up at stuff like that. They expect you to be there. All the dignitaries were there. All the important people were there coming from every country and whatnot. I believe the people in Kenya came over and they beat you, Joe. And you had to do it take Air Force One. It's just like a floating boat. You know what I'm saying? All the amenities. You could have got you a nap and all that good stuff. Got you something to eat. Been fresh. Going your little parade, your little uh, limousine thing they do for you. Like they do for the queen when she was, where hell she got both of them when she was living and dying. Oh, but anyway, Joe, 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 Joe. We don't know what we're going to do with Joe. I don't know. I'll tell you, I just don't know. I did a, did a Barack Obama, former president, was he there? Did y'all see him? Did, any of the, uh, was Trump there? Was the Bushes there? I can't recall. I don't think so. They might even get no invitation. They, they they seem like they strict over there. I don't know. I, I we might, well, I don't know if Britain gonna be for us. We have to go to war or something. Y'all think they gonna be for us? Are they gonna be like, well, since he showed up late, and they in the thick of things, we gonna show our asses up late. Hopefully, ain't nobody gonna uh, ain't gonna be too many bodies that were just casualties at war. But we gonna pay him the same respect. And see, Joe, we don't want that. We don't want that. We want them to show up and show out. When we call them, they should come in ahead of time. You see what I'm saying? The boats, the, the Navy SEALs, all of them should come and be on time. But you show no, you didn't show them respect. So I can't, I, I can't blame them. They, they, they'll come get up when we almost sunk in the water. Then they'll probably show up. It won't be a Titanic thing, but it'll be like, okay, you run there for us. We're going to turn the favor to you. Huh. <sighs> And they're going to show up when they get ready to show up. When we be in the thick of things, fighting and carrying on, Britain might not even come. They might not even come until it's, you know, they think about how long he waited to come to be a part of their procession for Queen Elizabeth. They're going to think about all this stuff. They, Britain don't forget nothing. They don't forget nothing. You understand what I'm saying? So, and then we got, oh, Papa Joe just showing up late. I'm like, damn, what was the problem? You knew the day before where you had to be. Ain't nothing really happening that we could think of in the world. Okay, and if it was, where is Camilla? Where is Camilla? Shoot, I don't think she came. But anyway, somebody had to stay around the country while you were over there being late. Did you stop at Starbucks? Did you stop at Starbucks, uh, President Joe Biden? But we're going to call you... Uncle Joe, did you stop at Starbucks or a Waffle House? Do they have those over in Britain? Because you, you just giving me that tease. You just stopped off somewhere. Maybe you had to use the back. But you got it. Air Force One. Okay. You would try. You would run around in your, uh, what do you call it, brigade. <laughs> oh, my God. It seemed like, uh, Joe, 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 Joe. Did, you should have one of them urinals that's like a little, what do you call it, a little spout thing because you weren't supposed to be going to no bathroom i know you probably had to do all those things because of your age you were a little nervous your water was trinkling down and they probably had to stop here and there joe okay let's get over it because he it, it's over with now the, the uh queen elizabeth done been uh dethroned she's in her little what do you call it crypt or whatever they had to lower her casket down in the cement, she's in a vault. But I'm like, that they be tripping over there, boy. They be that show <laughs> you ain't no coming up there trying to say you been to drop a visit nothing. How about it a uh, uh, coffin or her uh, was that a wooden coffin, y'all? I believe that was a wooden coffin. But they never took it off, so I guess they if you didn't catch her when the given was good to uh see her lying, you know, closed eyed and, and looking pretty and stuff. You didn't see it when they were viewing about it. You sure weren't going to see it through none of these processions because they weren't showing a thing. Made me wonder, is she in now? Is she really in now? You know what I'm saying? Because she they, they stripped her, boy. Stripped her. I ain't going to say butt naked, but they stripped her all her jewelry and her crowns and her self. All that was like, mm-mm, we got to get that. Nope, she can't have that. Nope, mm-mm. And you would have thought she could have had it since it's, it seems like it's going to be very well guarded. You know what I'm saying? What type of thieves going to sit up there and come in a church and, and be, you know, trying to 
blowtorch or something trying to get her bottled up. You know what I mean? Other people that might be laying around there dead too. I didn't see the uh her husband's uh, funeral procession. Did he have something similar to this? Let me know. Did his, did his body go lower down as well? Oh, okay, but anyway, let's go on into the store. Radar Online brought it out for us. O'Connor, uh, employee of Radar Online, I'm guessing. Freelance worker, contract, I don't know. Okay, but we're just going to give him his homage. Okay, we're going to pay homage to him. Connor Surmounty wrote it up for us today at 1 p.m. It's certain time and released it to the public. He said, President Joe Biden and his wife, First Lady Jill Biden, were forced to sit nearly all the way in the back. Doing Queen Elizabeth's funeral this week. RadarOnline.com can confirm. Let's see, Joe, that one time off. I hope you felt really bad, too. I really do. Because I'm like, I had a, a, a white folks treated up way back in the day. Uh, my parents' parents' time. Where they couldn't sit. They couldn't sit in the front. They had to go to the back. See there? Joe, they put you to the back. How you feel about that? How you feel about that, Press? I'm going to tell you, embarrass the hell out of me for you to be the United States president going around here and you sitting way in the back. You couldn't see that. I, and they probably didn't have no screen up there. Like we be having those big prompter screens. They probably didn't have it, Joe. Because they ain't like that. They they old school. Everything is old school. You see what I'm saying? Ah, Joe, Joe, Joe. I bet you couldn't see nothing because you sure didn't have on your glasses. I know you need your glasses. Yep, there you go. Way in the back. Way in the back. Okay, you know what I'm saying? He can't see nothing. He can't see nothing. Can't even take pictures of him. He should have been sitting behind Prince Charles the way he was on the same row. Give him a little respect. He's a dignitary. You know what I'm saying? But no, nah, mm -mm, Joe was messing around. I don't know what he was doing. I don't know why he was late. But that's why he was sitting way in the back, Jack. In the back. They put him to the back. I was, I was so, when I saw this and I looked at the pictures and stuff, I said, Joe, Joe. Lord have mercy, Joe. You, you made a fool out of the whole uh United States of America, you supposed to show it up and show it out, bro. Ah, but anyway, anyway, anyway. Okay, we go back. It says the surprising development came on Monday as the Bidens, along with more than 100 other world leaders, attended Queen Elizabeth's funeral uh, service at Westminster Abbey to pay their final respects. See the, the other people around the world; they got their own time. Joe. Uncle Joe, why you ain't get there on time? That's what we're going to be asking you from here to eternity. From here to you get out the president's seat. Why would you lay? You know they always picking on us. They always saying United States just don't know what they doing. And then you're going to show them correctly. Because we couldn't even get there on time for the funeral. Mm, mm, mm. Going back to the article says, but unlike a number of other world leaders in attendance, President Biden and his wife were seated 14 rows back from the Queen's cask. He couldn't see shit. He couldn't see nothing. Okay. I don't think he could see was the, the uh, what we call it, her vault sitting up there because it was so high. It was high for everybody to get a little picture or whatever they wanted to do. And then it's going to be lowered all the way down. Like, you know, you have those gray side funerals when the vault go out, when the cats go into the vault all the way down. But they usually don't do that while the people are still there. The family members are still there. They wait till everybody done gone home and stuff. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, Meanwhile, other leaders and royals were seated up front and much closer to the queen and the mourning royal family. Okay? But see, I'm, I'm, I'm saying like, now y'all know the president of the United States, he should have had a seat up there, whether he was there or whether he wasn't there. But you see how they're doing us, Joe? Do you see how they're doing us? Your one mistake caused all of us to be ashamed because you, you're, you're our leader and we're supposed to be doing what you do. And we supposed to be in formation. And you see, you got to sit way in the back, Jack. Got to sit way in the back. Whoo. Okay, anyway. It says the emperor and empress of Japan were seated in the sixth row. Just behind European royals and the king of Jordan. While the Bidens were sitting directly behind Andres Duda, the president of Poland. And directly in front of Petri Fale, the prime minister of Czech uh, Republic. Czech something, y'all know what I'm going with. Czech Republic? A Czechoslovak? Well, no. Czechoslovak Republic? I don't know. Okay. Moving on. First Lady Biden, uh, First Lady Jill Biden was also seated directly to Inazio Cassis, the president of Switzerland. Okay. Well, Switzerland is that one of them things where, you know, they, 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 they stra straddle the fence. You know, they ain't going to claim anything or whatever. But it, we were back there with them. We should have been right up there in the front. We should have been up in the front, Joe. Okay, um, it says you can pretend it's alphabetical order, but it's not. 
Lord Renwick, who formerly served as British ambassador to the United States in the early 1990s, said on Monday regarding the complicated seating chart, Biden isn't very ego-driven, but he's going to be near the front. <laughs> he, he didn't make it, though, did he? He was sitting in the back. Oh, with his late ass, anyway. Um, Emmanuel Macron would have hysterics if he wasn't given a place of honor. Lord R Renwick continued, Aloof Sh uh, Shozik wouldn't care. You got to say to yourself, who is going to have a hissy fit, okay? We don't permit huge swarms of protectors to be around them. Although you have to ran off for the President of the United States, he added regarding President Biden's security detail. He is always surrounded by secret uh, secret service agents wherever he goes. He need to. Because when he fall down, somebody need to pick his ass back up. Because he need to be walking with a walker, really. A cane, something. Something. Sitting up there. And he need to have some eyeglasses on. Because I know he can't see. I know he can't see. But anyway. Um... It says, although nearly every other world leader was transported to Westminster Abbey by bus, President Biden was authorized to take his own private motorcade and his own presidential car, do up the beast. Yep, we know about the beast from, um, what do you call it, uh, President Obama. They say you can't even sink that thing. That, the, the, um, they got bulletproof glass going all the way around the car. You can't even shoot the tires out. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So Joe should have been on time. He should have been on time, embarrassing us like this. No one going down in history. We won there for the Queen when the procession started. We won there. We won representing. <sighs> but anyway, at least he ain't had to get ported with a bus, okay? He ain't be with the other dignitaries and other big people around the world. They say to him, they say, okay, you bring your motorcade, okay? Because you go down, then, you know, it's hell is going to break loose. And then the Queen Elizabeth processions, it's going to be a mess. Because we sitting up here fighting because somebody trying to shoot at the President of the United States. So you already had that pool. We just needed you to be on time. Okay? But you didn't do that. We ain't going to forget about that, Joe. We ain't going to forget about that. Don't ride on no CPT time. Oh, but anyway, going back, it says, um, The President and the First Lady also reported left Westminster Abbey shortly after the hour-long memorial service and promptly flew back, back to Washington, D.C. As RadarOnline.com previously reported, the royal family were seated closest to the Queen casket on Monday morning. Although Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle was also uh, seemingly snub, snub and forced to sit one row behind the likes of King Charles III and Prince William. Okay. Well, that's all they said. That's all they said, you know. But he, uh, Joe immediately left on time, though. Then he he left. So someone co what someone kosher there? Cause if he can be that late, okay, and he's just gotten you know his in his stealings and stuff, and they put him in a fourteenth row seat. Uh, and then he gonna uh expeditiously get on out of there. Someone going on. Someone going on, y'all. What y'all think? But that's all I got. I ain't got no more. The surprise at Joe. I'm surprised at him. But maybe he had a good reason. Maybe he had a good reason. We're going we're gonna to just say, okay, Joe, had, he had a good reason. He ain't got to tell her. He know what he doing. Okay? He know what he doing. He the president. That's why he up there. But uh, President Joe Biden, we really need you to be on time for other, uh, ex what do you call it, uh, other events such as this that's highly profiled. We need you to be on time. Okay? Even if you don't go in. Uh, you're just out there. You're, you're, uh, we call it your barricade or, or your your what do you call it? Your team out there in the, these different cars and stuff. These just should have been like up front. Where you just step out, going up them little stairs and, and, and be seated. Okay, that's what we needed, Joe, for you to be there. That's, that's the whole thing. The whole purpose of you coming to the uh, shindig of the um, the queen's possession. You're supposed to be there on time. See, now we're gonna, it's going to always circulate. And to the day you die, it's going to always circulate that you were late for the Queen's funeral, Joe. It's a bad look. Bad look, Joe. Your popularity is going to be weighing. It's going to be going It's gonna be going in the, uh, the dirt. It's going to be going in the toilet. I'm just saying, Joe. I'm just saying. We need you to show up on white people time, not colored people time. Okay? Cause black will always be late. You can tell them 2 o'clock, they're going to show up at 4. You can tell them 10 in the morning, they're going to show up at 2. It's just one of those things, okay? It's just one of those things. I don't know why we got branded that way, but it's accurate. We don't know how to be nowhere on time. Even we don't even be on time for job interviews at the time. And then we get mad at the uh, 
the employer that wants to potentially hire us, we get mad at them because they're looking at they watch and saying, you know, uh, we, we can't have too much time with you because you, your appointment was at 9 o'clock and you showed up at 9.45. You see what I'm saying? Joe, you got us looking any kind of way out here. And I ain't for it. I ain't for it. You need to get together. Check yourself. Check yourself, Joe. Okay, and I ain't got no more for this video, guys. Get down in those uh, comments and let me know what y'all thought about our president of the United States showing up late and how they treated him when he got there. They put him in the fort. Fourteenth row. Can't nobody see anything at the fourteenth row. And you know they ain't got those jumbo screens to show nothing. But anyway, condolences to the family. May y'all be at rest in peace, knowing she's gone to a better place. Or we hope she's gone to a better place. We don't really know. And I'll catch y'all on the next video. Bye bye.